Oh, this is good, dude. Hit record and we just kind of get to it, you know, get the f this all in. It's all the time, that's all you gotta do. Oh, the angle. No, I was free. I got it. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was channeling. Yo, what's up? It's Boom. You know Spec. We're going to Three Daughters today. You might remember from Tight Faded couple months back where we tried their beer. Well, Bob loves us, three daughters loves us, so they sent us a gift card and they told us to come on by and go check out their stuff and have a bunch of taste tests with a bunch of stuff. So that's what we're doing today. Try all the cool stuff. There's a few things I really want to try today, so we're gonna make sure we knock those off. And uh, we're just gonna have a, a good vibe in St. Pete today, see what we can get into. You ready, Spec? <coughs> yeah! <laughs> Alrighty, so we got the beers, we got all the good stuff, and we're gonna try some shit out, and we're gonna see what it's like. I'm really excited about all of these. Uh, did we all get a John Daly? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. <clears throat> I was gonna right. say, let's, let's try. Let's all start with the John Daly. So the John Daly is their iced tea seltzer and their pink lemonade seltzer. So it's basically like the most kick-ass Arnold Palmer of all time. Cheers, fellas. It's a new age. It's a new age. Why did we just do that like a shot, bro? Because we're children. That's smack. <laughs> Yo. That's smack. Oh my god. I mean, I like it, but also I don't have a lot of taste. So. Yo. I'm sure it's fantastic. That's super good. Super light. Very yeah. light. Yeah. It definitely feels refreshing. But. I'm gonna say out of seltzers, I'm giving this one a five out of five. I'm going yeah. straight up. I'm going Whoa. straight out. The, straight out the gate, five out of five. First of all, I feel like yeah, I forgot we do out of five on type A. So that was beautiful. Y'all really did it from the back. I was trying to be like gentle about it. Like, that was beautiful. She's sipping like wine. <laughs> She's cheers and like shots, sipping like wine. That's crazy. <clears throat> That was, I mean, I don't know, I'm going to say a four. I'm going to give it a four. You give it a four? Yeah. That's fair. I love that one. I'm a big fan of Arnold Palmer's, though, and stuff like that. So I, I love don't... Arnold Palmer's, like the actual teas. Yeah, they're really good. I mean, I feel like I don't know if I give it a fair rating. Yeah, that's fair. But, like, from what I can taste, I would definitely say a five. <laughs> I mean, that is fantastic. Bad. I should, you know what I should do on the next flight? I should get like an IPA or something I really don't like and see how I like it when I can barely taste it. You should try the f***ing orange IPA. The orange IPA, the one that we tried on the episode. It's an incredible really? IPA in general. Yo, I've been to a lot of breweries. This is a badass this brewery. Is just the overall like feel of this, this is one of my favorites. Like it's Christmas time, they got the, the train sets and the villages, they got it. They got a the little band. tables are the big vibe. Bro. Yo, every single table in here. I think they're all different. Yeah, too. they're all different game boards. They I wonder if they have the, the actual pieces. I like, bet they be do. Like, can I play I like a game? See, they got, they got, they got the shit. Shit. deck. I mean, Ooh, I gotta put a show on. Ask hey, about renting. Hey. What's up? Ooh. I DJ. What's up? Let me put a show on here. Yeah. Wait, what okay. is this? Did, did we all get the grape? Y'all have the grape cider. Alright, let's try the grape one. It's dead ass looks like. Dude said it tastes exactly like drink. Welch's grape Welch's juice. grape juice. So. Alright, so grape cider. It's an 8% cider. Which is a tough didn't, boy. Didn't 
uh, catch on to that. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Cheers, cheers, fellas. Cheers, y'all. Yo. That is literally exactly like Welch's grape juice. <laughs> I could ever so slightly taste the grape, but these taste the same to me. So. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. I feel like this is just me going through another COVID taste test like I did at the beginning. Oh my god. Just so everyone knows, I don't have COVID anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not out actively with COVID. I just lost my taste and smell, and now I still can't smell or taste. This shit is amazing, dude. I'm actually surprised. Like three dollars is three for it's three. It's like deep purple. Like I didn't think it was gonna be the deep purple color. I, I, actual juice. I have a real big suspicion that by the time we leave here, this is gonna be the brewery that I stay in. Yeah. I know it. But I mean, for the record, there's a lot of them. We haven't tried a lot of them. But this is a fantastic brewery. 100%. Shout out to Bob. Shout out Bob. <laughs> I don't know if Bob's here today, but shout out to that man. Should just go ask. Who's Bob? Who's Bob? Who's Bob? Where's Robert? Robert? <laughs> I'm a house this I'm gonna become a step. I have it. I'm gonna become a side. You are unnecessary. <laughs> I feel what, like I should this have one? That. Mission to Mars. Oh, I got that one too. Did you? Alright, let's do that one. All right, so this one's supposed to be. That works, and I create like an amazing flavor. What is this? This is the Mission to Mars. And, so uh, I think it was. They just said a, it was something like an Oktoberfest style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on yeah. its it's on its end run. Uh, Five point one percent alcohol content. I should have wrote that shit down. Right here. Did you? No, it's all in my head though. Oh. <laughs> this is raspberry cider. That's about on, on par with what I would expect that, out of October. That's what, yeah. Oktoberfest style is not really a, my cup of tea. Yeah, I'm not an Oktoberfest guy, but like, it's a damn good Oktoberfest beer. <laughs> I'm trying to think. There was like one Oktoberfest beer I've ever liked, but I think it was like straight up like Sam Adams Oktoberfest. It's just trash. Oh, yeah. Trash. I hated it. I hated <clears throat> it. Huh? Well, Doc, I have a Thank you. Bro, I get so many compliments on this jacket. That night I went out with- The whole fit is honestly pretty gas today. Like, you're like bucks head to toe. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever you are, right? Fuck around, find me a cougar. I got my bowl. Give me a sugar bowl. Get you some 90s fit. For real. Oh, we're, we're gonna go to that one point. This is the Mini Twist IPA. I'm drinking something I've already had. Orange IPA. Oh, you're doing the Florida orange? Yeah. I'm doing the sour orange blueberry seltzer. So. Gasoline. Cheers, fellas. Just wow. as good as I remember it. Wow. I'm, I have a feeling if this I could actually hard. taste more of that, I can't. I would not like it. I can smell it a little bit though, which is awesome. Ooh, I can the smell the taste. sour. There it is. Does anyone want to try it? Bro, I gotta log all this on those tabs. You know how long it's been since I've had a new beer? Probably since the last episode of Type Faded. I like that. Yeah. Do you want to try some? I definitely think the John Daly is fucking Bro, that John Daly was crazy. I think I'm just becoming a seltzer man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Tight faded blocks. Blocks. So you do things like this and call it a blue screen. Dude, you're almost there. Dude, we go to breweries. We go to booze cruises. Booze cruises. There you go. No, because booze cruises are a thing. We go to breweries. That's what I said, Bruce cruise. We're going to Bruce. It's a Bruce Cruise. We gotta find out if someone has said that before. We gotta find out. Yo! Good day, day, day. Lock it. You're too f***ing drunk. No? You're, no, you're just, you're just 
buzzing so hard that you don't care what's going on. You're not drunk, you're just, you're just buzzing so hard that you're just in the zone the music wins. So we brought Bob. We finally, we met the man. The myth, the legend. Not in his own eyes, but <laughs> I appreciate anyway. <laughs> No, but so long story, if you remember, Bob was the one that reached out to us on Instagram and he showed us a lot of love. And so we're back here showing a lot of love back to the brewery and Bob specifically. Um, real quick, uh, is there any little insight you can give us of what, what's in store for 2021 for Three Daughters? Yeah, so uh, the Florida Orange IPA you guys tested, or taste tested and enjoyed, thank you. Um, that one actually has gone over so well, that's going to become one of our four beers. Okay. So that one's going, it already is statewide, it's just going to be a staple for us for the foreseeable future. So if you like it, check it out. You know, uh, Publix, ABC, Total Wine, all kind of places around the state are gonna have it. Okay. Um, in addition, we got a few other small batches coming out soon. We're gonna start with our uh, Double Hooks, Double IPA. Uh, I think you guys might try yeah, that we one. We tried that one. That was good. Yeah, yeah that was coming out in six good. packs, I think end of January. Okay. Then we're gonna do a Tropical Hefeweizen, which is just a German Ooh. wheat. Ooh, like mango, papaya, coconut. Ooh. Yeah, really, really tasty. That'll be out sometime in the spring. Okay. Uh, into like early summer. Then we're gonna do a Juicy Pale Ale. Uh, that one's gonna be like kind of late summer. Okay. Really, really good. Sort of like a Florida version of a New England IPA. Uh, a little bit more crushable, I guess might be the word. Just, you know, when it's hot in Florida. And then uh, at the end of every year, as we, as we have out right now, we do our uh, porter that we age in horse soldier bourbon barrels. That one's super tasty, silky smooth, get a lot of bourbon, vanilla, oak, dark fruit. I don't know if you guys might have to grab your six pack before we get out of here with that, but it's, it's really, really good. You have it right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, we messed up. It's okay. We came in here, we tried, we tried in the ballpark of maybe 12 different things while we were here. And um, everything's great. I don't think there's a single thing that we put below a four star. It was just amazing. Yeah, I'm talking about four out of five. Four out of five. I made all of it personally, so that's good. Actually, no, not at all. <laughs> I was gonna, yo, I was gonna lose my mind. I was gonna lose my mind. No, brewing. I, I'm the same with beer as I am with food. I love the way it tastes and how I feel after imbibing it. I have no clue how to make it. Like, I know the technical process of brewing. Same as like, I know like. Oh, like you boil you know, stuff, you, like same right. as food. Like I can see a recipe doesn't mean I can do it, <laughs> but I can appreciate the way it tastes at the end of it. So okay, you know, I'll take it. Okay, <laughs> can't take much from that. Well, all right, guys. If you guys are in the St. Pete area, make sure you come out to Three Daughters Brewing. The whole scenery here, you guys will see the video. It's incredible here. The vibes good. They got live music all the time. The drinks are phenomenal. You get seltzers, you get ciders, you get beer, you get everything you ask for. I've been to enough breweries to know that I'm I'm automatically biasly putting this one at the top. It's this is uh, a fantastic it's brewery. It's great. I love it here. So we'll see you guys. Thank you for coming in. Yeah.